the Pittsburgh Flying Disc Open. I'm Ian Anderson, joined by Philo Brathwaite. You can see him right there as well. How's it going, everybody? Hope you enjoyed the front nine. We are on to the back of this beautiful Moraine Lake State Park course. I love it out here, Philo. Pittsburgh Disc Golf is incredible, man. There's some good courses. That's why they got a world. So yeah. yeah, it needs to come back in a hurry, man. I, this is the first time I've been back to, to Pittsburgh since 2015. So, huge, yeah. huge fan of this place. Hole 10, really cool par 4. Yeah, this is a cool hole. I have no problems with this hole. There's a big, wide fairway to get the disc down. It gets a little fluky in the landing zone area. You, know, you can't see where you want the disc to land. It's kind of fluky, so you're just kind of poking and hoping out there a little bit and Nathan's throwing probably one of the best lefty shots I've ever seen on this hole. I mean, that's pretty much ideal. You couldn't drop your disc in the fairway any better than that. Right. That was his Mako 3. He throws that thing so beautifully. Uh, Jordan? Going something fast and overstable. Try to cut right inside that tree. Ooh, that's another dang. really amazing break and skip. It's so hard to be able to anticipate that because you can't see it. Yeah. That was a fireball, kind of like MVP's uh, Firebird. Brad pulls this one a little Ooh. wide. He's going to need some help on the finish there. Uh, not ideal. He's no. going to have to get a little tricky with his throw there. Going over stable. Pretty stable destroyer here. Try to follow Jordan's line. Tried to get a little bit more air space as well to make it. Look this better. looks like it, Philo. Oh, what? That's what happened, man. Yeah, that's what I was like. People don't get it, man. I don't lie. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was frustrated after that shot because it felt so clean. It was perfect, just as good dude. as anybody else's, but yeah. then that happens, and then I don't throw the flick far yeah. enough to make it all the way up there, so I'll just be scrambling for this my This second floor. shot is really uphill. Yeah, this is, yeah, when you've got a strong flick, mm -hmm. you can scramble yourself out of those situations, you know, but mm -hmm. that's not my forte. No. That is Brad, so yes, he made is, that yeah. look real easy. That's his strong suit. Uh, Nathan, after that perfect drive. A ton of space for the lefty to get up and down. Yep. Throwing his FD3. Nice. Someone to a Firebird. Pin high to the basket. Yeah, really well done. Uh, Jordan, is this his entropy again? He's taking the left Theory, side, too, me. following the... Wow. Ooh. Most, most hyzer players or backhand players are going to take the inside gap yeah. up to the basket, but that was a really nice shot. And uh, I wanted to take a, take a stab at the three and long, long, long jump putt and... Didn't really get it out there enough, and bang. So hopefully it doesn't cost you. Not this time. Nice job, Philo. Thanks. Those are those are the pr the putts I'm always impressed by, man. Just try to stay calm, stay with the program, mm -hmm. you know. You See, know. Th right. Oh, that's the putt you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, so watch. Like, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, because he literally puts it, like, <laughs> on the ground, so if there's anything, you know, an inch out. I can't remember who oh. this. I think there was this guy in NorCal. His name was Mustang. Uh-huh. And this dude would literally scrape, the, like, hold the disc on the ground. What? And then like, putt from nose there? down on the ground and then lift and putt from there. It was the most random thing I ever saw. But, that is funny. Yeah. Nathan's wrist action on his putt is, he does some weird kind yeah. of juju at the bottom. I don't know. Did you catch that? Not a big fan of that action. <laughs> I would never teach anybody that. But, I mean, like I said, as professionals, we all have our little things yeah. that are unique to us that – Help us find a rhythm and a routine that we can lock into, and that's what his is, mm -hmm. you know. And when he's playing well, obviously it works. Yeah, it does. Hole eleven. Where are we going, Philo? Hole eleven is a straight hyzer shot with a scary, uh, a scary, flaring skip shot. There's some brown, kind of thin grass up there. If you get about 300 feet or so, you play that skip. It should bounce right, right up in there, in the circle there. Yeah. There's some space on the left for the lefty, too. There is, yeah. Uh, Jordan's going nitro off the tee. This is about as perfect as it can get right yeah, here. Yeah, he barely <laughs> missed a tree about halfway up the fairway <laughs> that you about, couldn't yeah, see. Oh, my gosh. Excellent. Very well done. Yeah. Brad is going with a Hades, which I have never heard of in my whole life. Have you? No. He ripped it over a little hard and got, got a, a fortunate <laughs> kick and got him up the fairway. He's yeah. actually got a long look at the two if he wants it. Yeah, backstop's there, too. No yeah. shame in running it. Uh, Wraith from Nathan. And right when you think it's going to hit something, it doesn't, what? and he's parked. Didn't it look like that was it squared was up on that tree? I was walking it the whole 100%. way like, oh, that's got to hit something. And nope. Nope. 
So I was playing a similar shot to Jordan, anticipating the icy fairway, and it just gobbledygook. And looked like you missed like the skippy stuff by like a couple feet. Yeah, and it just went zoop. Velcro. Uh huh. Good upshot though. You'll take a three. Yeah, unfortunate. Nothing mm-hmm. I can do about that. Brad's got his long look. He's giving it a go. Mm, just a little soft and outside, but he had the right height on it. And it did. Nathan eyeing down a look at a two here. Oh, yeah, he's well in the circle. This should be a no problem. But for, for mm-hmm. Nathan Queen, chucking up the deuces and go shake hands with the basket. <laughs> he makes great use of his legs. Gets a real... A lot of pop out of there. It's so important to use your legs when you putt, guys. If you're having a hard time with your putting game right now, and just start with the – it starts at the ground. You know, it the does. putting game starts from the ground up. Don't think that it starts up top, you know. Like, your legs should be the catapult judging the speed of the putt and the action you want to use. So if you're having a hard time with your putting game, get that together. Get your balance together. Get your legs working together with your upper body. Try not to lead your putt just from the, uh, from the top half of your body only. I've noticed that when my putt's falling off is when I'm not using my legs. I, I, yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta start my putt there. I yeah, that rocking motion. Even if you're gonna do a straddle putt, that squatting motion, that up and down mm-hmm. squatting motion, or if you're you know inline putter like myself, that rock back and forth so important. By Hole you, twelve. You got nine nine trees left. Are you using any on this one? <sighs> yeah, I, I could probably point out a bunch of them this is a really tough hole here guys hole 12 yeah, it is. blind landing zone again off the tee you're just kind of crushing a shot down the fairway and hoping that you land somewhere where you have an attacking angle if not you're just scrambling your way for a par there's really no other way to describe this hole yeah jordan's throwing a really good shot wow he's actually lined up really really nice yeah that for was one of the gaps up towards the target through the middle there yep this is the fireball. You want, you want to finish like lefter and shorter than you think off the tee. I, it seems like a lot of people push it long. Well, it's really easy to end up right on this hole because you can't see it, and you're like, mm-hmm. you don't want to cut your swing off. This is another Ooh. great shot by the lefty here. That is Mako again. I think it was. Oh, Sidewinder, excuse me. I was going to say that. Yeah. Brad's a little outside. This is the area where you don't want to be. Yeah. Out here, short, right. Now you definitely not making three mm, he's got a lot of trees to miss and a lot of trees to navigate and some really skinny lines i'm going overstable destroyer here trying to get kind of in there where jordan was big flare skip little neural and actually that's not so bad no i mean that's that's down there Philo. it's down there i'm gonna have a weird little gap but distance wise and angle wise are good Brad just that's good from where he was getting way up the fairway that's all he was trying to do is getting as much as he could out of it Nathan's gonna do something similar and pow hits a tree but leaves him in the fairway so he'll have a really straight look up and down at the target Jordan oh no caught an early tree after a great drive that hurts puts him up high left Philo your second yeah I'm throwing a really really straight rock hook here up. Just hook up. Uh, everybody's like, oh, it was a great shot. And I was like, yeah, to a guy by the basket, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> went down the hill. It's like, just need a little bit more stability. That would have been right there. Yep. I give my humble shout out. I went, I went T Bird, T Bird, Birdie on this wow. one. Wow. That's a my, great. My round with the boys, man. That's <laughs> awesome. My best hole out there by far. Brad with the very, very touchy little flick inside out. Turned it over very nicely. Parked it up there. Nathan? Yeah, he's just laying this guy up. There's really no need to get super aggressive from back there. Yep. Jordan? He's outside God. circle two. But he's the way he's a been long putting. Way. <laughs> he gave it a go. A little bit of a soft bid, nothing yeah. too aggressive. And Philo, this is going to be for a great three. Those trees in your way? No, everything's fine, man. Everything was fine. I just did not finish the throw of my elbows kind of you can see i'm trying to stretch it out mm-hmm. every now and again i get a little bit of tennis elbow things get a little tight in there and kind of popping around 20 years of playing disc golf and extending <laughs> my elbow you know gets a little tight every once in a while you, you can probably start, start busting out the greg barsby line mm. what, what's wrong if i love like, a million throws million throws, <laughs> million throws man <laughs> yeah sometimes i can feel that Tendon's starting to get a little... Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> right before I put, and then I kind of just think about it, and I don't extend because oh. I'm trying to avoid that, you know, pain. Not really pain, more just discomfort. Yeah. At least the miss resulted in a par, which yeah. is still a pretty good score for that hole. Par is great on that hole. I mean, birdie is amazing. You're definitely gaining strokes on the field with the bird. But... I'm using like 15 of my 10 trees on this one. Five yeah, <laughs> for sure. God, man. This this is a really, really, really tough hole, guys. Par three. There's probably about uh, 10, 12 feet of airspace to mm. nut the drive. And that's not a lot. And there's just tree after tree after tree. If you hit early, there's almost no way you're saving par. Yeah, I got a five after I threw the last one yeah. because it is just unbelievable. Nathan Queen just found the skinniest. What is that line there is? Oh, and then hits the pole. It's so ridiculous. That was a leopard for the record. Yeah, I, I don't think he was going for that skinny. Game. No, he, he, he <laughs> definitely. Was. So, I mean, there's a you know part of that was a well thrown disc and then a bit of good fortune. Yeah, it's a combo, right? Yeah, combo for Corey, sure. Corey likes to say you make your own luck. And Nathan made some good luck right there. You going rock off the tee? I'm going that beat up Wraith again, trying oh, okay. to use the left side of the fairway and just did not commit to getting my hand in the middle. Jordan? I don't want to make the mistake of getting and going right. Yeah, like That's, that's that the one. direction I don't want to go. If I'm going to make my mistake, I'd rather go left. His reactor reacted badly. Here is his second. And it's just so hard to make three when you hit early. There's just too much stuff There's in like the way. There's like never a line that's clean the whole way. There, I, I kind of got a line here. If I can miss all these trees and stay left, and uh, oh. that's the one to miss. If I missed that, I would have had a good skip up towards the target. Yeah. Maybe a look at it. You, you still got a putt, don't you? Kinda long one? Long, yeah. long okay. putt. Yeah, I think I'm 65 away oh, or so. I thought it was closer today. Yeah. Brad with a good up right there. Oh, yeah, you weren't lying. This yeah. is 77 of your 80. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to take a stab at it with my really beat-up classic AVR. That looks like Corey's showing you. You got a line. There was a line. Ooh. Like chain high. Just, good one, man. Just didn't get it on the pole. Mm -hmm. Great, great no bid, chains. though. Thank you. Jordan looking to save his par. Jordan did a ton of good putts. I wouldn't be surprised to see him knock this one in there. Oh, definitely. Uh, oh. Dang. Yeah, this is a guy to get here. Nice, Philo. Yeah, save the bogey. I've had a bunch of bogeys and no birdies, no green on my card for a while, so mm -hmm. I got to not let things get too far away from me. And Nathan with an absolute dropper. Yeah, that's a huge stroke gainer right there. Gosh. Yeah, you can separate on this one with a two, can't you? Yeah, a lot. I mean, it could go two or five in a heartbeat, you know, if things... Mm -hmm. Don't go your way. It's such a hard shot. You got to throw so fast to get there. And there's really like nowhere to lay up. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a good point, huh? I mean, I guess you could try, but it's not easy. Yeah, playing that for three, I don't even know what that would look like. Yeah, that'd be weird. All right, guys, we'll kick it off to our sponsor. Welcome to 2020. I just want to send a huge thank you out to all of our Innova throwers that have supported the Tour Series program. Every player on Team Star and Champion has a special signature disc available at the Innova Factory store and at retailers around the world. Huge part of what keeps us able to do what we love and be professional disc golfers out there on tour. So thank you so much for supporting it. All right, back to the action. Huge, huge thanks to Innova Champion Disc sponsoring all this coverage. Hole 14. Thoughts, Philo? Yeah, this is a tricky little hole again. Um, the, the tee shot, I love the tee shot. I'm not a big fan of what happened in the fairway after that. It's just randomness all around. That upshot, man? Yeah. yeah there's uh, just you, I think the further to the right you get off the fairway, the better the line gets. I'm with you on that. just gets... Uh, mm. Not the worst kick, but yeah, not a bad kick. Not a bad kick. Brad with the Zeus. 
That's going to find that same cluster. It looks like there's a ton of space in that gap, man. But to hit that thing with speed, is it's not as easy as it looks, you mm-hmm. know? When you're trying to get 400 feet of speed on the disc, it's really easy to pull the line. Low ceiling, high yep. floor, you know, you're throwing uphill a little bit. Same thing, you know? It's just like they're like magnets for the disc. They just suck it in there. It's yeah. really hard to trust the disc on the left side and just let the disc taper on its own. Jordan going drift. And he oh, does it, just barely squeaks past there. And, uh, one wow. late tree, but he's still way up there. And yeah. he'll have like a few options to get up and down from there. Not great options, though. <laughs> like we They're not the about. best. They yeah, it's not, just man. like a bunch of stuff. There's really no definite line. And mm-hmm. I'm just trying to bust through the gap the best I can. And You got down there. Yeah, not very far, though. Uh, Nathan, 268 to the pin. Looks like the Mako or the Sidewinder. Let's see what it was. It looked like the Mako. Sidewinder. Sidewinder. Yeah. So now we're twisted up. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Brad's second. Yeah. Yeah. Like th- this kind of stuff oh. right here, you got to throw a trick shot to get up onto the green. Not not a big fan of those types of holes, but, you know. That is, is a play for is. that one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a play. I've been waiting for a forehand roller, and Brad finally threw a good one for us. Skip in. Nah, not quite. That was just trying to salvage my par, but that was the play I wanted. It's a great gap hit. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it low, bounce off the ground, use the ground play to get up there towards the target. This is not the gap I had picked out for Jordan, but he threw it really well. He did it very well. That flick has been working well for him this Mm -hmm. round. Nathan from the long range. Get ah, he really, really, really <laughs> wanted that one, and this is where things could get weird. And you Come get the on. really terrible, terrible roll. Come simmer on. down, baby. Simmer so down. Slow. Simmer down. All right, all right. It could have yeah rolled out another twenty feet, and that really stuck. Is that for birdie from Brad? Bingo! Wow, after that drive too, incredible second shot. Really creative with that forehand roller. Yeah, he's good with those trick shots, man. Mm-hmm. Keeping things on the ground. Flicks, those are like his specialty plays. They are. Uh, Nathan trying to come back off that roll away for par. Nicely done. Uh, he's been solid on the green today. Yeah, he has. He hasn't left too much to be, uh, you know, yeah. thought Out there. about later, you know. Uh-huh. Like they all pretty much been the, in. The regret thoughts, yeah. Not exactly. a lot of those uh, regret shots, I should say. Uh, Jordan, good birdie out of him, too. Yeah, that was a great drive. Really set him up to kind of pick his best gap or his, you know, most accessible gap from the from the middle of the fairway. Mm-hmm. I was talking to Nathan about this after the round, but his putt scares me, man. I never think it's going to go in and it just drops in every time. It's, <laughs> it's it's not on target most of the flight, you know? Like like yours or, or Jordan's is just, you know, a heat-seeking missile. But Nathan's just diving in. Kind of like Barsby's putt. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's just right. hanging out there, hanging out there, and all of a sudden, Smack. Stealth Bomber, you know, snap hook into the basket. <laughs> Uh, it's such a cool skill to watch. Oh, this is probably the marquee hole of the course. Like I would say hole 15. You get of the, disc golf, Philo. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful hole. You get up on top and you get a nice, you know, look at the lake and, you know, nice breeze. Just a beautiful element to be around. It's a really fun hole to throw to. Yeah. Even for AMs, too. It's not, like, so far that you no, can't get down it's there. It's not super, super difficult or technical. You're just throwing a hyzer, get to the top of the hill. There's the tree line that you really want to get past. These trees here on the right, if you can get past them in distance and stay on top of the hill, then you should have a really nice either hyzer or straight shot over the tree in the middle down the fairway. Uh, Brad with the Zeus putting it way down there. Jordan? I like this play right here. You just kind of hang it out there, push the tree line, gives you a nice healthy skip back up towards the center, and boom. Stress free. Yeah, putting his phase four fifty down the fairway. I think if I were a lefty, I would be trying to get everything I could out of this shot and just get way, way, way down the fairway. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I'd try to land on top of the hill. You but and Chris Clemens think alike then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean if I were Chris Clemens, I would I would definitely do that, but I'm not, so I gotta play the smart shot. Mm-hmm. Do the similar shot to Jordan Castro there, push the tree line, I already know where it's going, so I'm walking back to my bag. Right there next to Jordan. <laughs> That's like the <clears throat> nice, perfect flat spot to throw from. Yep. If you're not trying to get down the hill, that is. Uh, Brad second. This is a really nice fit on Ravels. It's a Z4, so it probably will. Yeah. There, there it, it comes. And that should be about circle's edge. It's about 400 foot from up top there down the hill. Yeah, so you're 406, you called it. I'm throwing a rock. 
I'm basically throwing it like 335 speed and then just letting gravity suck the disc down to the ground for Dude, me. Dude, that was good, man. It reminds me of the old Verdugo Hills shot. Yeah? If anybody's Oh, I wish that SoCal. place is still around, man. Me too, man. Jordan, a little baby flexor. You ever do that, man? You go like play a disc golf course, and you're like, oh, this reminds me of this hole from oh, this course. And all then you the throw time. the disc exactly the same, oh. and the shot works out. <laughs> uh-huh. That's kind of what just happened for me. I love that. That's really yeah. cool, fellow. This is a touchy shot for the lefty here. Yeah, he's got one oh. little big tree out there to miss. And yeah, what the he, heck? He threw <sighs> something understable because that thing drifted. It make we need to go more overstable because of the wind. Yeah, and that thing just... Cruise through the woods. Got yeah. him pin high. It's not a good look, though, as Nathan's finding out right now. He's going to have to, well, this is going to be his first forehand of the round. Ew. Wow. Gave it a soft bid. Yeah. Not cool. bad. Not at all. Brad, looking for the, the bird here. Uh, uh, dang it. That looked like too much chains to come out. Right. Kind of skipped off that lid there, Jordan, with her fire right in the heart of the chains. It's a beautiful birdie. And another beautiful birdie out of you, my friend. Uh, it's been a while, man. I <laughs> almost forgot what they felt like since hole seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hope we can finish strong, man. I'm going to try. There is Nathan making good on his par putts. Um, Brad will do the same here in a second. And you go from this hole to the next hole, that it cannot be, you know, more different. Yeah, you got the wide open par four to a really tight wooded par five. Yeah. So this is another one of those holes that people remember this course for, the par five. You got a nice long corridor here. It's uphill, doesn't look very uphill, but it is. Yeah, especially when we get to this little brown patch of uh, dirt right there. It really starts to go up fast. Yeah, and then you're just kind of like poking and hoping up and over top of the hill to get somewhere on the flat where you can see the target and hopefully find one of the alleys to get you into the green. It is an eagleable par five. I, th I saw some in Worlds. I'm remembering uh, Jordan on the box. Going with a trace. Playing it up high. And actually, this is a really good play right here. If he can crest the hill, maybe just close to it, but that's still prime time position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything up, up top is, well, you are just absolutely stoked. You I'm going rock? beat up Wraith here. A beat up Wraith, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm throwing a beat up Wraith, just kind of trying to play for this gap over here on the, you know, mm -hmm. right center of the fairway and then chuck something over the hill. Brad with the Proto Zeus. Loves that Kong. Ooh, that's, that's not too terrible there. Yeah. It's, it's not great, but it's not too terrible. They cleaned out the brush pretty nice for you guys. Mm-hmm. Nathan, he's going with a wraith. He's going to be hanging out with Brad a little bit, but slightly better spot. Yeah. Actually, a lot better spot. Fairway centrum. Let's see what we got working here for Brad. He looks like, I think, a forehand roller. Yeah. Ugh. Got a pretty early tree. It did catch something early, and it had a great angle on it. I'm yeah. sure he would have really been excited about that if he had not hit that. Mm-hmm. I wanted a forehand roller out of you right here, Philo, but you uh, go with the forehand. I don't really have the forehand <laughs> roller too much, man. Like I was just trying to get over the hill and hopefully have an angle towards the target. I I he did that, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. Uh, Nathan second? Oh, that's what happened there. I didn't get the full flight out of the disc. It's yeah. not really my forte, throwing Anheuser's like yeah. that. Yeah. Flick, but I'm great at burning those into the ground. Jordan's got actually a line. He can be pretty aggressive if he can get it down. Throwing the vault on the Annie. Wow. That kind of looked like he just ripped it out there and like whatever happens, happens. Yeah. And then that happens, and he's well within the circle, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a look at three. That was incredible. I think he's like 18 feet out. That's wild. That's another uh, we played with our, our local friend, Patrick at Graziani, mm -hmm. and he's like, you know, he's, this is some of these courses and holes, you just close your eyes and hope for the best. For you sure. know, I think that's kind of what Jordan did there. <laughs> Brad just threw an excellent yes, shot. Yes, he did. Thank you for not overlooking that. Nathan? Ugh, had one little tweener to pass there. And did not do it. Here Did you are not. trying to get in position for the birdie. Yeah, I'm trying to play a little skip shot around the backside and get a small Ooh. skippy flare and kind of trickled get too far away. Here. I remember we were watching him with the camera, like, "Stop filming! <laughs> like, is it still rolling?" <laughs> Everybody wants Corey to stop filming as soon as he can. That's a great upshot. Wow. I ended up just inside the circle, putting back up the hill, looking for the bird. Get it back to back. Now you know what it feels like. Hey, I kind of remember. Yeah. 
she giveth sometimes and sometimes she stealeth <laughs> let's see if she'll give jordan an eagle right here man uh, i don't think he needs to worry about her giving her anything no. Even that's cash money right there buddy dang jordan just posterized that hole yeah he did i don't think i've ever seen it happen before not that, that pretty close. cool yeah that second shot was it missed I so mean, much stuff man I, mean, I don't know man i don't know where he was aiming or how it got there yeah you know it, that's kind of the uh, we talked about it after he's like i just picked this gap hit it and then hope for the best and, and he hit his gap and then the best happened it did doesn't get much better than that unless you throw it in from back there yeah. barsby roller <laughs> for the albatross and join the club oh man get it jordan that's a definite stroke gainer on the field. Yes, sir. <laughs> God, this one is so touchy, Philo. This is very touchy for the righty backhand thrower. If you're a lefty, you're just kind of yawning and, you know, throwing a boring hyzer, playing the ground play skip. You know, you kind of want to finish inside on the right. Um, if you're the backhand right hand thrower, yeah, you got a really, really skinny gap to fly. You got this tree in your face that's like right in the perfect airspace, and you're trying to miss that and keep the disc turning right. And it's Jordan so hung it out there a do. little bit too long. You definitely want to be turning right a lot sooner, just like these guys are throwing. You want to see that your backhand shot looking very similar to that. It's hard to do, though. It's hard to do. And get the, it all the way there. The timing and the speed, you know. Oof. Liable to They're cut, asking cut a lot out of yeah, you. They're they asking a lot out of you. So this is a rock, I'm sure? No, I'm no. throwing the beat-up Wraith again. I can't, and I really. did the same mistake that Jordan made where yeah. I was a little too worried about the tree in front of us. Nathan? Ooh. He's going inside the line of that tree. You know, I don't. I kind of like this thing. Yeah, I mean, if I had the flick, I would throw right where he just threw the disc. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't get much better than that. That was an FD3. Uh, looking at your second shot. And there's a layer of guardian trees about yeah. 40 feet short I'd of the basket. Just, that was terrible. Yeah. There's no other way to describe that. Yeah. It's not committed to the air. Jordan, still some work left to do as well. Ugh. He's not going to be too stoked about that, but no. Jordan doesn't quit on holes, so he's taking his time. He's going to line this one up. Give it a go for the par, 59 feet. Just inside circle two. <laughs> he called that one about halfway there, too. So got it. It's a great scramble. It sure is. What a save. And here you are looking to match that par save with a putt of your own. Bah. Inch Back. short. Brad looking for his two. Ah, it's a disappointing one for Brad, I'm sure. I'm sure he counts on this one. That flick of his, and that's where Nathan ended up. Easy lefty hole. Not surprised, you know. Mm -hmm. Really, really tough for us righty backhand throwers to shape that shot and keep the disc finishing to the right with the limited airspace available. And you got the, you know, stuff, the foliage kind of. Yeah. Yeah. All the trees, guardian trees. It's just a really tough shot for the uh, for the righty backhand. And that's another aggravating bogey for me. Yeah. Knowing funny. that I just didn't commit to the shot. But. That's a pretty spicy line Nathan takes, man. I like it. I, I think it's a smart line. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a smart play. You can throw something over stable, force it over a little bit, and just anticipate the disc dragging back. Doesn't have to worry about that jerk tree that catches mm -hmm. everybody else, you know? Just that one to beat. Uh, hole 18. What man. a great finishing hole. You know, this is one of the marquee finishing holes around the country, I would say. Just a beautiful, long corridor. You know, you can lay it up short if you wanted to and play for the three. But most of us are going to get aggressive and try to make it across the gully there. There's a big OB swatch about halfway in the middle of the fairway, and you can't really tell if you hit and ricochet if you're going to be safe mm -hmm. or out. So you may as well just go for it. There's a drop zone if you miss it. It's about, I don't know, what's 170 to the basket from yeah, there? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a weird line, though. It is a weird line. you got to throw a little turnover if you're a righty backhand player. But I know from personal experience. <laughs> Nathan bails out way to the right. He'll have... An interesting look to get up and down. Yeah, it's decently open out there on the right. Jordan just Ooh. never committed to this one being down the middle, and he's going to pay with some awkward stances and trees in his way. Yeah, that was his drift. Here is Brad. Oh, that's cooked. That's low, and yeah, rolled over. He's going to need a little bit of good fortune to stay what? safe. He is, and he is. <laughs> wow. wow, that was an ESP nuke destroyer from your you. Yeah, I'm throwing my Kosamui Star Destroyer and. 
Similar mistake. I like the line, but I missed uh, the air. I didn't get the height on, on the A dish. couple feet higher, and that's... And yeah, I hit look, that I big railroad tie, yeah, and did. I'm going to the drop zone. Mm-hmm. So here's where Jordan ended up. He is quite a bit short left of the basket. Uh, caught some lettuce. He's going to get across the OB. Um, he did. But he's still not going to be making a par. Yeah. You are throwing three from the DZ, and like we mentioned, it's this weird kind of touchy flex shot. Yeah. You threw it really well, though. Thank you, man. I just took my wow. most overstable putter and just, you know, gave it a little quarter throw. Didn't throw it too hard. It's not the longest throw. We just got to shape it. That's a mistake I made is going long with that mm-hmm. flexor. It's easy to do because so much glide at just the end of flex. it out. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was hoping to do. Uh, Brad with a decent up. Here is Jordan with his third. Ooh. Jordan still got some work to do. He's been playing woods golf the whole hole. Uh, he has, hasn't he? He hasn't found the fairway yet. He's going to have a long tourniquet putt coming up. There is Nathan uh, just laying up. Take an easy three. I'm scrambling out of here, man. Yep. Not enough. <laughs> 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 birdie, birdie, bogey, bogey. Yeah, just not the way to finish. That was a good putt from Brad, though. It surely was. Great par save. Yep. Jordan's a ways away. For four, even, though. 52 feet from the woods. Get out of town, man. This guy in these long putts all around. Jordan McBeth Wysocki was no feeling doubt. it today. <laughs> Give him all the names, All right? the names, man. <laughs> Dude was feeling it. Yeah, he was. Great bogey save there, Mr. Castro. That way to not give up on the hole. Like you like to call him the tourniquet putt. Stop the hemorrhaging. Yeah, man. Good one right there. That could have been a double bogey in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Made some great saves here at the end of the round, and well, that is your top ten. We'll be watching for round two. Chris Clemens came out with a nine. We'll be watching Terry Roethlisberger, Nathan Queen, and Corey Ellis, who's an absolute ripper, man. Yeah, Corey Ellis is a, is a talent. He's just been on the scene not too long, what, a couple seasons now? Yeah. I haven't really seen him before then. I've heard his name pop up, but the guy's got a tremendous game. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, and there's a bunch of dudes that aren't too far right behind. You know, Brad's got, he's been around a long time. Trevor's been playing some good golf. Mm-hmm. You know, you just never know in the woods. Yeah. Yeah, that round true. two should be fun. True story, fellow. Right on. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys around. Thanks for watching.